we got some breaking XRP news when it comes to the digital ecosystem. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. While you're here, smash those likes, hit the follow button. It's a free and great way to support the channel. However, the SEC has just won its motion to compel Ripple to produce its 2022 to 2023 financial statements that are relating to institutional sales of XRP and their financial statements. Now, I don't think that this is an issue. I think this is something that has to be done. The reason why I say that this is something that has to be done is because of a uh, Ripple employee known as Oliver Segovi, the senior director, head of product marketing payments at Ripple. Um, his LinkedIn post that he made about four days ago says we're excited to wrap up January with a fresh updates from Ripple. I'll pin this in two simple categories, building and growing. Building is 90% of our business is outside the U.S. And after being relatively quiet for the past three years in the U.S. for Ripple payments, we've geared up to announce new product updates powered by our money transmitter license and that cover the majority of the U.S. states. This has to be done because if they're gearing up and if they're ramping up to announce new product updates powered by their MTL, then they have to show their financial statements for 2022 to 2023. It would make sense. Now, that's why I say that Ripple having to show their financial documents for 2022 to 2023 is not that big of a deal. This right here that we're looking at, this is a big deal because he's literally telling us that we're geared up to announce new product updates powered by our money transmitter licenses that cover the majority of the U.S. Well, if it covers the majority of the U.S., what banks do you think are going to be involved? City? City partnered with um, Medico to help create Harmonize to help custody digital assets. Now, Ripple took over and bought Medico and now they have harmonized to help city custody those digital assets. Could it be Bank of America? Well, we know Bank of America is a Ripple partner. And or could it be because of something pertaining to MasterCard? MasterCard paired up with Finistra to help modernize cross-border payments and Ripple partnered with Finistra to utilize RippleNet to help uh, utilize cross-border payments that MasterCard is trying to modernize. So that means we have Citi, Bank of America, and MasterCard. That is insane. This has to be done. And I can guarantee you that Ripple has been quiet for it really has it really been three years. Oh, my God. It's really been three years and they're gearing up to say something and do something big. I can feel it this time. It feels different. Like we always say this time feels different. But no, this had to be done right four days ago. They announced that they're going to be gearing up and ramping up soon. And then just today, Ripple's fouled Ripple's. Um, have to show their financial statements from 2022 to 2023 and they have to respond. I think it's by February the 12th or the 14th, one of those dates. Thought that was very interesting. Things go slow until they start going fast. And I have a feeling things are going to start going much faster. All right, moving on. On the XRPL, when it comes to voting, it looks like the clawback feature is still 94.29% and it's going to be enabled within two days, 17 hours. AMM, the, the automatic market maker, the automated market maker um, is set, still set to be done. Looks like it's going to be in eight days, 14 hours, 29 minutes. And the newest one is the XRP fees, where the fee unit is going to be changed to XRP drops. Now, could that mean something's going to happen soon? I don't know. But here's what the XRP fee says. Uh, it's, it simplifies transactions, cost calculations to use XRP directly rather than calculating indirectly in fee units and translating the result to XRP. And here's all the updates. Look at that. 
pretty neat. And this is where we at right where we're at right now. We're at 50 cents edging closer to 51 cents. And the market itself looks like it's trying to do something. We don't know what the market's trying to do, but it's trying to do something. Um, but yeah, that do it for me, y'all. I just thought that was very interesting. Um, there's 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 no coincidences. Everything is done by design. And the fact that this was announced four days ago about the money transmitter license and about them starting to ramp up in the U.S. And then, well, you can't ramp up until we get your financial documents for 2022 to 2023. Something's brewing. But all right, y'all, that'll do it for me. Please make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. I will see you and everybody else on the next one. Peace. Hi.